Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. Let's start by reading the question. What is one point that lies in the solution set of the system of inequalities graph below? Okay, so we've got um, these two lines. One's a solid line, one's a dotted line. And we're attempting to figure out uh, a point that lies in the solution set for both inequalities. So let's start by just saying that here it's as simple as looking for a point that is in this checkered region right here. That's it. And, we'll, and then we'll point out what the answer is. And then we'll backtrack and look at some of the mathematics behind this. So if it wasn't a multiple choice question or they ask you some other version of this question, that you are ready. So which of these points is in the checkered region? Um, I, think, I think it looks like 7, 0 to me. Let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's this point right here, which is the point 7, 0. So this is the only one in the checkered region, and that's the answer. So what's happening here? Why is the checkered region, why is any point in the check, this checkered region right here, this, this region where the two uh, lines cross, why does that represent uh, a, the solution set? Why would any point work? Well, if you want to think about what's happening, we have these inequalities. This first one, I think we can figure out pretty quickly what the equation is. The y-intercept is right here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's the point 0, 7. And then let's find the slope. Down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then up 3. So our slope is delta y is negative 7, and then delta x is positive 3, right here. Delta x is positive 3. So that means for this line, uh, if we use y equals mx plus b format to write the equation of a line, where m is your slope, slope is delta y over delta x, so it's negative 7 thirds x, right? Um, and then plus b, b is your intercept, plus 7. So this would be the equation for the actual line itself. But notice here that for this line, I'll shade it in a lighter blue, we're shading ab above the line because this is an area that represents the inequality, not the, the line itself, not just the line, but everything on the line or above it. All right, so it's all these lines here. Now this whole region, if you think about it, it's, it's everything that uh, has a height greater than or equal to the line itself. The line is solid because we include the line, and we include above it because we think of y, the output, as anything larger than or equal to the line itself. So, so y is greater than or equal to negative 7 thirds x plus 7. If that's not making sense, try any x value and you see what I mean. Let's plug in the x value 0. We plug in 0 to this, we get y is greater than or equal to 0, negative 7 thirds times 0, 0, plus 7. Oops, sorry about that. So it's y is greater than or equal to 0 plus 7. So that means then, it's my arrow, y is greater than or equal to 7. So look at this for a second. If x is 0, y is any point that's greater than or equal to 7. So it could be this point here, could be a point above it, above it, above it, above it, and so forth. Uh, forever, right? It's anything above or equal to that line. And that's true everywhere. So we shade above it. The reason we shade the way you do here is because it works so nicely to find the solution set uh, when you have more than one inequality. Now this one's a little bit different here. We have a dashed line. Unlike a solid line, a dashed line, as you can probably infer, means that we don't include points on the line itself. And in this case, notice we're shading below the line. So in this inequality, y is not going to be larger than or equal to, uh, but less than, right? So it's anything lower than the line itself. Um, here, we can probably also figure out the line equation pretty quickly. The y-intercept is negative 1 here. That's this point. So it's the point 0, negative 1. And the slope looks like it goes up 1 over 3. So delta y is 1. Delta x is 3. So in this equation, y is going to be less than, because we're shading below, not below or equal to, it's a dotted line, um, the slope, which is 1 over 3, x minus 1. So here, uh, again, we shade like we do, because now you can look for this nice crisscross pattern, because any point here in this crisscross region 
will be both less than or in, less than the red dotted line and greater than or equal to the blue uh, line as well. So it satisfies both inequalities. Um, and that's the kind of questions you might deal with here. All right, thanks.